Hi everyone, welcome to Nursing with CG. In this video, you are going to learn about how to place an IV axis on a patient. The first step, the selection of the catheter. It's based on the patient's age, size and the purpose of that placement of the catheter. Get all the supplies ready. Prime the extension tube with a 10 ml flush. Connect with the flush and flush and expel all the air from the extension tube. Pick the correct sized catheter and select the vein by applying the tunicate. Select the visible palpable vein for the insertion of the catheter. The first step of insertion, application of the tunicate, which occludes the blood vessel, which provides a clear vision of the vein. Palpate the vein with the gloves. Once you feel the vein, untie the tunicate and clean the area with a chlorohexidine swab at least 30 seconds in a round circular motion. Leave it open, let it dry. Reapply the tunicate very tightly in order to occlude the blood flow to that area. Once you place the tunicate, don't touch the area where you cleaned before. Get the catheter, remove the cap. Hold it between thumb and middle finger. The index finger always should be free in order to manipulate the needle. Always keep 15 degree angle for insertion. Stretch the skin and once the tip of the needle in and for insert forward, once you touch the vein you see the blood flow back flow once you see the back flow you can advance the needle completely advance the sleeve of the catheter and retract the needle by pressing the lock of the needle then untie the tunicate press the tip of the catheter to occlude the blood flow and touch the lock, press the lock and remove the needle, it's retracted. Then attach the extension tubing without losing the catheter. Check the blood flow by aspirating the extension tubing, then you flush and wipe all the blood around the site clean the site very thoroughly before you apply the dressing remove the flush don't touch the tip of the extension tube make it sterile you can apply the cap to keep it sterile Clamp the extension tube, apply a sterile transparent dressing, normally we use tagadam, apply the transparent dressing. Make sure the dressing is properly attached to the skin. There is no air leak. 
make it tight apply extra tape if needed to secure the catheter attach the hanging tip of the extension tube and secure with the tape to prevent accidental pulling the last step is labeling always make sure label the catheter with name date and initial and don't forget to document in the computer when did you place the catheter where did you place the catheter and date time and your initial thank you so much for watching and stay tuned to my next video please don't forget to subscribe